Thank you, Mayor. I always have to move this down afterwards. So. Uh, and it's great to see the Well City flag flying over Milwaukee again after 60 years. <laughs> On behalf of our membership, I'd like to extend a congratulations to you, to your staff, the well Wellness Council of Milwaukee, the members of our GMC uh, Healthcare Task Force, the MMAC, for achieving this coveted designation, the silver designation. It's no small achievement. The Well City designation required 20% of the population to get the message about the importance of wellness and get involved in wellness activities. That's over 50,000 people. We had 77,000 employees and their families become engaged in over 51 companies that provided WellCoA certified wellness programs for their employees and their families. So while three years sounds like a long time, when you think about stepping up the wellness activities for that many people, it's pretty fast. You've seen these employees too. They're power walking down the streets at lunchtime. They're organizing sports leagues. They've got their Facebooks going for outdoor activities. They're picking healthier options at lunch. Even in the GMC, uh, we've implemented health risk assessments. A health coach meets with us quarterly, and there's lots of low fat yogurt in the fridge these days. So we've set out to create a healthier workforce at a community, and by all accounts, we're succeeding. I'd like to thank a number of GMC members for their leadership in implementing the wellness programs in their organizations. These include many large employers such as Aurora Healthcare, Children's Hospital and Health Systems, Freighter Community and Health, uh, Wheaton Franciscan Healthcare, and we have a number of large employees in the regions, employers that not only implemented the wellness programs, but championed the well uh, city effort and demonstrated the early successes that encouraged others to join. So I'd like to thank M I Bank, We Energies, Park Bank, Robert W. Baird, and Northwestern Mutual for their active leadership and their support. The YMCA of Metropolitan Milwaukee has been very instrumental in our success. They provided staff support by sharing a senior manager to serve as the Well City Executive Director. They provided all aspects of day-to-day -day project operations and management, making sure that our strategic plan was followed and our goals were achieved. This included committee work, website hosting, marketing, grant writing, management, and all uh, member-supported activities. Exercise, nutrition, work-life balance, and general overall health in employees result in more productivity, lower health care costs, truly a win-win situation, and it saves lives. Today's announcement reinforces that Milwaukee is on the right path for wellness. The GMC is one of the Well City Milwaukee's initiative's major sponsors, and I'd also like to introduce our other major sponsor, the MMAC, and have uh, my partner in wellness, Tim Sheehy, come forward. Well, Mayor, congratulations on your leadership. Uh, Julia, thank you for your leadership. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here this morning, and I would just, uh, since the mayor started it, make a personal note that uh, I feel a little less well today than I did yesterday on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Uh, but nonetheless, it's a pleasure to be here uh, to help us recognize uh, our designation as a well city. Uh, MMAC has over 300,000 employees represented in its membership, and we've talked a lot about the designation today. I just want to take a moment and talk about what that designation means, uh, to, in particular to private employers. As Washington talks about what they're going to do with health care reform, one of the great benefits of being a well city is the impact on companies and employees and their ability to reduce their health care costs. Um, there are a lot of things that are not in the control of a business in terms of their competitors or where their competition is coming from, but one thing they can get a handle on is the cost of their health care. And wellness is one of the key ways in which an employer can deliver on that and one of the key ways in which an employee can, can take control of uh, their health care costs and the benefits to the employer are twofold. One, they have healthier employ employees, and second, healthier employees are more productive employees. So it's really a pleasure to uh, join with uh, the mayor, with Julia, uh, with Dick, with all the other people uh, that have helped us uh, achieve this status. And we look forward to moving forward. And on just one final note, I wanted to thank uh, Mary, who's done just a wonderful job as the head of Cosby in driving this message out uh, to smaller employers because it is not uh, dictated by the size of the company. I think it's dictated by the foresight of the company in terms of getting involved in a program like this. So thank you very much.
Well, I, I can certainly say that um, it's March and it's madness and we made it to the dance, Well City. This is what we've been working for. Uh, as Mayor Barrett said earlier, uh, in, in public health and population health, we work to change health disparities, to bring about equity in terms of how well and how healthy people are. What we have found is that uh, we can get progress, but we can't do it alone. We know that there is a role for our employers and our business community. And three years ago, we, we heeded the call and we took that uh, charge, and we, we're here. We worked nearly 24-7 to, to, in an age of information technology, to get the word out, to employ others, and to get our business community excited about this. So a lot of time has been put forth. But we just didn't do it on, on the fact that it makes you feel good to think about wellness. There were some very detailed case studies and analysis performed by Well City. And we looked at the large, medium, and small employers, participants, and they really have a good eye on whether or not uh, those companies that implement wellness programs actually can get the return on their investment. And the answer is certainly they can. There's an increase in productivity. There's a decrease in workplace Ill, uh, injuries. And there's a decrease in healthcare costs. And when that happens, you begin to see that transformational change in outcomes for a community. And we begin to see the whole city become well. And as Mayor Barrett said, 60 years ago, we were champions. We did it year after year. And it only takes a, a, a few minutes for something to go viral. And in the business community, that started to happen three years ago. 70,000 people later, it's starting to go viral. And it works. Wellness works. The cornerstone of all public health is prevention. The best thing you can do is present a, prevent a disease before it happens in the first place. And how do you make employers uh, valid in the future? You get employees who are healthy, and then that employer can move forward, and I think we can do that. So we're well on our way. We're in the big dance, and we want to win the championship. I think we can move from Milwaukee and become the first well state in the country as well. So let's go do it. We're in the dance. We're champions. I'm happy to be here. Uh, and I want to next uh, think. Janet, who's going to come forth. I used to think that James Brown was the hardest working man in America. He's gone now. This is the hardest working lady in America. James, Janet. Okay, Julia, I pull it down further than you do, so I got you beat. This is truly a great day for the city of Milwaukee, this region. Um, and the Well City Milwaukee Project. We've been working long and hard. I share with all of our partners and supporters and colleagues here today, uh, expressing my deepest thanks and appreciation to those who have worked tirelessly with us to achieve this goal, to those who have provided financial support, moral support, on the ground legwork support. Um, it's been just a wonderfully heartwarming initiative that's turned out great results. The one group we haven't talked about a lot yet today that cannot go without mention is that we would not be here today if the wellness staff and the wellness teams at each of our member organizations had not embraced this project, worked every day to put into place program components that meet a very stringent set of criteria. Their workplace, Well Workplace Awards were not just some fuzzy little trophy. They worked for three years to meet every single criteria of a results-driven, comprehensive employee wellness program. Many of those folks are here today, and it's wonderful to see that the people who made this happen on the ground, impacting the lives of their employees, are celebrating with us today. What I can share from some of the experience working with these wellness representatives from our member employers is they all have stories to tell. Um, they have stories to tell of the changed lives within their companies. They have stories to tell about the impact wellness has on families. Um, the dad who's never done a health screening or health risk assessment gets it done at work and goes home and over the dinner table talks about what he learned and that can impact mom and the nutrition choices they make for their whole family. That's where we're seeing the ripple effect of workplace wellness. 
From the very start of this initiative, we always knew we wouldn't stop today. This is just our first major milestone. Now our task is to do exactly what we set out to do strategically, capitalize on this momentum. Take this group of incredible employers with CEOs that signed on to take the challenge and transform their workplace and our community. And we're gonna raise them up as the leaders and champions of this and move this even broader and deeper into our workforce and make wellness the way of work in Milwaukee that this isn't something we do just to achieve an award. Wellness is standard business practice in Milwaukee. That's where we're going next. So the sky's the limit. Now before we kick off our phase two campaign to recruit new employers, we're gonna take a little time to celebrate. On April 13th, uh, 7 a.m. in the morning over at the Pfister Hotel, we're gonna have our annual celebration event where we're gonna kick back recognize again all the employers that were a part of making this happen. Um, and our mantra for that event is going to be, well, Milwaukee, well done. What I want to just share in closing is you've seen the flags posted up here. We also have a Well City Milwaukee flag flying over by the Zeidler building. If you want to get a picture of that um, live and in person flying over our fair city, that's there for you as well. And then I would also like to invite all of our presenters up front to field any questions anyone might have. Great, we nailed it. Thanks very much for coming. Thank you for helping us celebrate this wonderful event for Milwaukee. Everybody.